Hello and welcome to the finale of the Pokemon Mega Stream Team. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was your last chance. Yeah, you'll never be able to get it right now. Never. The Pokemon Maker Team Stream. Okay. <laughs> oh God. You know I could just hit stop recording and redo that, but we both won't. No, I'm not going to. I only bring my audience for truth, even when it embarrasses me. So, shall we just run down our team of MVPs? Yes, let's. And we can tell them the truth, that physical superior is somehow amazing. <laughs> I have no real evidence for this truth, but just trust me in my heart. So, first of all, we have a bulky physical sweeper in the form of Dewblade. Holding an Eviolite all the way back in the first week. Uh, it has no guard, which doesn't really help it at all. It has no options other than no guard, though. So, um... Yeah. Um, oh, the YouTube only viewers will. Um... <laughs> yeah, YouTube only viewers won't get to hear about Long Hard Reach of Pokemon. So these are the Pokemon that have ended up in the team. After a long hard week of Pokemon. Thank you for reminding me, Nate, to get that phrase that I said in just before I realised I should record it. <laughs> um, anyway. So it's got Sword Stance. Raised attack, attack by two stages. It's got Shadow Sneak, which is a priority move. It's got Sacred Sword and Iron Head for coverage. In Iron Head cases, Stab coverage. And then Amongst we... Art I was going to say, amongst our team of setup sweepers, um, sorry for the spoiler, Doublade kind of has... It, it's kind of our wall breaker by virtue of Sacred Sword ignoring defensive boosts on the opponent. Yeah. Um, and it's very bulky. Yeah. We were very surprised, even on the special end, we were surprised at how bulky it is. Eviolite does good things. Eviolite, ask your doctor. Then we have our physical superior. She is shiny. Um, she has leftovers because leftovers is a good thing. I guess we wanted to get the most out of that sword stance. And like we can't, we can't do a choice item because we need setup. Yeah, we can't do life orb because you don't like life orb. And also because Superior's got bulk, but it's not got, like... Survivability? Yeah. So, um, I guess it was kind of like that, or a berry, or Rocky Helmet. Oh man, Rocky Helmet Superior. I mean, that's a cute mental image. Um, so yeah, so, yeah like so... Dewblade, almost exactly the same moves layout. Dragon Tail, it force it's a... Uh... Phasing move, so it forces the target to switch. Um, but it also... But still have offensive momentum. Yeah. Leap Blade is just a nice, high-powered grass, gra physical grass move. And Knock Off is always fun. It knocks, it removes the opponent's item and gets power boost if they're holding one when you attack with it. And basically everything is, so unless it's a Mega Pokemon or something with a Zed Crystal, that's going to deal some good damage and possibly take out a good chunk of utility. Like, if our double blade gets knocked off, for example, then we're, it's, 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 it's basically done. out of the game. I mean, to be honest, it's probably literally out of the game because despite its defenses, it is a ghost type. But also, yeah. Um, we have 340, 357 speed, which allows us to run, outrun most things, but not Tapu Koko, because as far as I can tell, it's physically impossible to outrun Tapu Koko. It's really annoying. Xeno's Paradox. No matter how far you move, you'll only be halfway to outrunning Tapu Koko. Yeah. Right. So, Pokemon number three is Volcarona. Indeed. Volcarona, which is a, sp a fast special sweeper. Ooh, we're moving to a special light. This one does have a life orb. It does. I think you talked me into it. I mean, it, um, it works very well with it. Yeah. So Volcarona 
was a Pokemon that got MVP before we had put it on our team, just because it kept appearing so much in the stream and causing us so many problems. And then someone in the chat suggested it. So, it's got Quiver Dance, it's got Flamethrower, it's got Buzz Buzz, it's got Giga Drain. Um, all of these moves have, like, so Flamethrower can burn, Bug Buzz can lower special defense, and Giga Drain can recover some damage. The main bit about this set is actually Quiver Dance, which is one of the best boosting moves in the game. Special attacks, special defense, and speed go up by one by one point. Blinkang! Back to the physical side! <laughs> so, Blinkang is another bulky, bulky ish setup sweeper. Luckily, there are very few things which are good against steel types, so this team will do very well. Um, so, we've got Shift Gear, Wild Charge, Magic Coat just for trolling, Gear Grind, and then. We basically put everything into attack. So one of the problems that we've had is that the set, when you get to the end of a stream and you're a bit tired, the setup sweepers set up, blah, 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 blah. setup sweepers look really appealing because they will have done something impressive at some point in that stream. You just remember the time that Torkoal managed to go on a bit. To be honest, I don't remember Torkoal achieving much of anything, except that... for taking out, like, something that's not super impressive, but I guess is probably a bigger deal than Torkoal. The thing was, <laughs> Torkoal, I have to say, with it, right? Torkoal was uh, in that week where none of the Pokemon did anything impressive. Yeah. But Torkoal was the best out of a rather unimpressive bunch. Uh, it does have a very good boosting move in the form of Shell Smash, which decreases its defenses by one, but raises its both of its attacks and its speed by two. Um, Unfortunately, it's incredibly slow to start with. Yeah. Same for Earth Power, Hidden Power, Grass. Almost exactly the same coverage as Volcarona has, apart from it's got Earth and Earth move instead of a bug move. Oh man, I'm so glad there's no types that are super effective against both fire and steel. Mm-hmm. Ground? What is this ground type you speak of? It's fine. We've got a Pokemon with wings. It doesn't fly or levitate, <laughs> and it's got wings. So finally, we have a Pokemon that is not a setup sweeper. It is a... Stooler, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, this is a very strong Pokemon. It it's our physical wall. It will deal with any like rampant physical attackers that get out. So long as they're not, you know, super effective against it. Mm -hmm. Strength stats a really cool move that heals a lot of health because it heals based on the target's attack stat. Yeah, and we're all at level one hundred, so that's a big number. Um, even for things which aren't attacking focused, like yeah. Yeah. most of the time, it will get decent health off them. Like, even Torco has 157. Mm -hmm. um, and then it lowers their attack in addition to that. Yeah. Spore is but, the best slate move. Yeah. It isn't Dark Void. Uh, Leech Seed is Leech Seed. Uh, recovers health to you and damages them each turn. Then Moonblast is. Wrong with it. Moonblast is just in case we end up with only a Shinotic. It's, I've been running basically this same Shinotic on a team of my own and, and it... Moonblast is very helpful to have at times okay so if nothing else sometimes you need to beat out a store wall for a bit yeah so we put a lot of um, EVs into special defense on the grounds that if we go up against a physical attacker we're going to be using strength slap so strength traps is like EVs in defense but not basically Okay, that's the By team. the way, I checked, and according to the Smog on uh, speed, OU speed tiers list, there are literally 69 Pokemon in the tier that can outrun Tapu Koko. Do you mind 
just not say anything <laughs> about Happy Coke. Look, I should probably explain. So I've been running a team with a Choice Scarf Cloister, a um, Ambipopom, and a Cinchino. All of which are really fast. None of which can outrun and survive an attack from Tapu Koko. Oh, sorry. I was looking at a um, less speed-invested Tapu Koko by the looks of it. Um, yeah, there are only 15 things that can outrun a max speed Tapu Koko. There what we are. That? That's a high-speed Tapu Koko at plus one, to be fair, but still. Yeah. it's It's a fast Pokemon. It's a fast Pokemon. Yeah. And not every team's going to be able to justify running Scolopede to deal with it, because it probably can't. But it should, because it's cool. Right. I do like Scolopede. I did something very silly, and I tried running a Venipede with Evil Light. And In OU? Yeah. So it was actually a pretty good um, entry hazard setter because it gets spikes and toxic spikes, mm-hmm. and with speed boost, it could it just basically kept getting off a couple of a couple of them. So you know, but if you get like two layers of spikes and a layer of toxic spikes, or vice versa, or you know, three spikes, that's pretty good, and it could reliably yeah, survive three turns. Huh. Um, the problem was it couldn't do anything else because Venipede does not get a good move pool. It feels like it should get Rapid Spin. I think it does, um, but I was already running two other hazard controllers. Yeah, fair. So I was looking for something else. Right. Let's try playing our Pokemon of the Week team. I believe in you. And I believe in at least three of your Pokemon. (laughs) <laughs> right okay so they're almost certainly going to lead with my friend and yours Ferrothorn I'm going to vote Volcarona yeah we can either set up or just start okay we maybe can't set up actually I suspect uh, okay, if you, think, if you think we could get away with... No, I'm going to, go, I'm going to switch to Synotic. I should you know. really have a calculator up. Right. I'm going to use Boar. It's always a good way to start the battle. Oh. Um... Right, well, uh, I guess set the timer, because we're on a stream. Uh, they set it already. Oh, so they <laughs> did. Oh, they're back. They're back. They're back. <laughs> we're good I always love it when the one who set the timer times out ah uh. we're back in gen 3 the problem is, we are at risk of getting, um... Ice Beamed? No, Scalded, because we're playing a physical superior. Yeah, but they're not going to use... But it's almost certainly carrying Ice Beam. You'd assume so, yeah. I was just about to cancel and go for Swords Dance because I knew they're about to protect. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we, can, we can do it next time. Oh, yeah. Suicune is infuriatingly bulky. Mm hmm. Aha! I got you this time. So, all the way back in Gen 3, this was known as Krokun, or Calm Mind Suicune. And it caused a lot of problems for a lot of people. Okay, now we probably we might want to uh, Swords Dance again, because they're going to not protect. Okay. 
Goodbye, Suiku. I'm so used to dealing with contrary superior. It feels kind of weird that we attack something and didn't get stronger. <laughs> oh boy. Pinsir. I mean, Pinsir itself, not a problem. Mega Pinsir has Aerial Eight, an ability that makes all its normal type moves into flying type moves and makes them stronger. It means that its return is incredibly powerful. It means that it gets a really strong quick attack. It's it's wild. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. We can only hope that they're going to switch. I suspect they will because unless it has earthquake. That's true. <laughs> However, they might not be. I don't think they might not do just because they are taking a long time to decide and yeah that if you implies. have a quake you just go what was our third move we've got shift gear we've got gear grind we've got wild charge and miracle wild charge that's it i just want to set up our set as accurately as i can half remember it to be i've got i've literally got all these stats on my computer i could just be Well, I mean, if we win due to the, like, <laughs> decision-making threat that Clan Clan represents. Oh. <laughs> hmm. It's always funny, because if you're on the side that gets timed out, you just go, I just looked away for a second. Whereas if you're on the side that is waiting for it, it's like, oh my god, this will take forever. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Whoa. We won. <laughs> we are true champions. The heroes of. I don't have an end to that sentence. <laughs> um. I mean, I do, but it was the storm, which is objectively not true. Um. So, huh? I've no idea what the lead here is. I'm going to be honest. If I was, I I'm don't know what Nile Ego does as part of that. Oh, so but on the plus side, we get to find out which Charizard it is immediately. Yeah. On the downside, we don't have anything that can really take a hit from uh, either. Especially not that one. Yeah, this could be an issue. I think Volcarona and Quiver Dancing is probably our best bet. Yep. Oh, it's got Asian power. <laughs> 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 GG. Yeah, um, we're not even get get past the first hurdle here, guys. Oh, wait, no, unless Torkoal can... What, what's our current speed? <laughs> Objectively less than it. Yeah. And all we can do is flamethrow. <laughs> Still, we had bulk. Spore. Hmm. I mean, going 6-0 isn't that too bad sometimes. Shadow Sneak, we're going to deal some damage to this before. Yes! <laughs> Come on, Superior. Let's sweep this baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only. Um. So we may have a very dangerous type weakness. 
Maybe. Looking at our types. I think you may most... have like doomed just by choice of background. Um, Looking at our spikes, the most dangerous Pokemon in the game for us to fight is a Markargo. Um, I mean, that's one way of interpreting it. That is the way I choose to. I mean, our defense against fire types really is to have Volcarona already boosted, except it can't really hurt them much. So, um... Okay, we don't want to chance it with an Excadrill. Don't we? It's, it's going to start off with Delphut. Okay, if, you think, if you're confident. But it didn't, but um, we got lucky. Also, a bug with this round, so we got... It's yeah, but I was, expect I was expecting it to be carrying a rock move, I'm going to be honest. I should have used Flamethrower. Why don't I use Flamethrower? Well, the important thing is that we regained health that we hadn't lost and then lost health from Life Orb. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the best case for Life Orb, I will admit. Can we have one? Yes! There we are. <laughs> default! 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 Okay, so far, I think if we were picking an MVP for this, it would be the timer button. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> no, it's a forfeit button for our opponent. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> this is a very luck-dependent team, not because we have inaccurate moves, but because we need opponents who stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the quality Pokemon content you guys come here for. <laughs> oh man, it's like a greatest hit for Pokemon we can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> I know mean, we can kind of deal with Therathorn. Yeah. Invisible Volcarona. Indeed. It's our new cunning strategy. I wonder if Volcarona can learn fly. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. Not because I'm going to suggest that we should start running fly Volcarona. Um... <laughs> I'm sure there's something out there that does actually tend to run fly for, like, coverage. Volcarona can learn fly. I know it used to be pretty popular in um, doubles, just because it, um, you know, it gives you a turn of protection. Yeah, that makes sense. Tapu Coco can learn fly as well. Second so Oratorio, which isn't surprising, but I don't know, I find that. By the standards of a small bird flying you around, like, <laughs> uh, do you want me to run the numbers? No, you've clicked it. Okay. Um, higher power and stab, but they're both, you know, not good mm -hmm. moves to use against it. And we can't deal enough damage to... Uh... No, wait, we might. No, we won't. I was misreading our health percentage. Also, we have Life Orb. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we might not have got this far if we didn't have that Life Orb, you know? Okay, so we've got something we've... No, we don't. Yes, we do. We could try Dublade for uh, Shadow Sneaking to take it out. Thing is, I think it might be choice locked into eruption. Uh huh. Which and decreases in power um, with HP. Okay, so Torkoal? Like, I'm actually like... going to vote Dublade and, like, try and set up a sword stance so when Charizard comes out, we're kind of a bit ready. Okay.
Well, there's that. Time to do all the swords. The thing is, this team would have destroyed us, but they've actually been playing really badly. No, they've been playing incredibly well, and it's only our raw skill that has brought us up <laughs> to this level of success. Like, they made a lot of switches a bit earlier that they really didn't need to when they're facing... What's it called? Oh no, we took 10% damage from... Oh. Boom. Um... <laughs> I mean, that was still pretty damn good. Uh, the real problem is that... Well, it's, it's, okay, so it's superior. Yes. Superior can definitely outspeed it. We should probably, <laughs> I, think, I think we knock off in case it switches. Goodbye, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to switch to Shinotic. Yeah, that makes sense. We've been intimidated. We are. We're running away. Well, switching to Shinotic wasn't the best of ideas, maybe. But um, Strength Step doesn't make contact and it will get us back some good health. And it will weaken its gyro ball and power whip, assuming it has either, which it might not since it is Giga Drainers. Mm -hmm. Are you going to talk all? Yeah, seems like it was time to set up. I'm not going to lie, that's not, it's not really a good time to play spikes. Um, it's not the worst time to play spikes. Ha! You can't scare Torko. Torko can't see you. <laughs> Torko and now our, our incredible coverage choice of hidden paragraphs. Torko doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. He literally doesn't. Shinotic again? No, because we'd just be going in a circle. I'm very good at going in circles or switching out the same things to kind of the same things. Yeah. Oh boy. I That's forgot possible. it could do that. What's the period's <laughs> item? Is it life orb? Leftovers. Oh, no, no. Uh, knock off. Because if we don't... <clears throat> get it, we can at the very least ruin chance there. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, maybe we could have, like, defeated... <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we leave Blade now. <laughs> I was really not expecting Grass Knot. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you helped us take out your Landorus. <laughs> do we knock off? Do we lose Superior to knock off? I think we do. Like, it's on no health, it can't switch in. Yeah. Huh. So it didn't even work? That is an interaction I did not know about. Huh. 
Yeah, it's a user science student. Target's ability or rocket helmet, it can't remove the held item. It will still remo but it does still remove held item if you faint because of your own life orb. Ah. But ah. And you can um, remove items from Pokemon that have sticky hold if you make them faint. Hmm. <laughs> Don't ask me what possible benefit there could be to this. Bug bite to steal a berry. Um, I don't know if it works with bug bite. I'll check. You might if it. No, it, that doesn't apply to uh, bug bite. It's purely for knock off. Unless it just hasn't been documented on Bulbapedia. Oh, man. <laughs> right, let's, let's drop its, its attack to nothing, and then slowly moonblast it. Because neither of us can seed the other, neither of us can... Like... Like, this is dangerously close to... Like, I can believe that we can win this. I'm glad someone here's got optimism. Yeah, that someone's me. Damn it. Yeah, we want to keep moon blasting it. We don't want to. We want to save our sphinx saps until later so we can get more health back from them. Yep. <laughs> oh, right. Chansey exists. At least we dropped its uh, special attack. We might want to spore it, yeah. Oh. Oh no. We've lost. Yeah. I want to keep going just in case we haven't lost. What do you mean in case we haven't lost? We've lost. Silence, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to forfeit. We lost. Can I be in silence now? Sure. Thank you. Okay, well, on the plus side, some of our Pokemon can take down Shedinja. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, huh. <laughs> Oh man, I wonder what what tactics we might be using. To be fair, they might outspeed us if they're uh, plus speed. Yeah. Why don't? Uh, let's just say, why don't we use fiery dance? I guess we just found the reason. Um, the bad news is it wasn't a big enough difference to uh, matter. And now we're depending on Dubblade. Again. Being able to take <laughs> down a fire type. Why does the blood keep being our answer to fire types? <laughs> I know why. It's because it's got priority. But still. Hey, Dublin does our answer to everything. That's true. I mean it's our answer to Excadrill. Shadow Sneak. I'm I'm not entirely sure what move they expect why they <laughs> I'm not sure what they were doing there. It might just be the sandstorm. Maybe they're expecting us to use a seal move. Okay. Unfortunately, double is not a fairy, but it did at least get a crit in. That was very nice. We should have run it. 
that's the spirit. I mean, it could be a scarf jump. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Let's hit timer. Yeah, so that's our most powerful move. <laughs> it's our specialty ability. Boom. And superior. Oh, we got knockoff. Yeah, what's so you can just speed? It's not fast enough, is it? Oh, it's got a sash. Nice. <laughs> wow. I know it's probably just its best stab move, but there's something that feels incredibly gutsy about having leech life on a Shedinja. <laughs> okay, we actually doing this all. We could, because, oh yeah, no, we probably want to switch into, yeah. Shift gear? Yeah. Time to speed up. Oh. Oh no. I don't. Please. The last thing this stream needs is a max speed section. What? That's what Sonic says in Sonic 2006, before the parts of stages where Sonic runs forward at an incredible speed and you can't stop him. And if you hit any obstacle, you die. And these normally at the end of fairly lengthy stages that you have to go through all again if you get a game over. I haven't played Sonic 2006, but. I understand the experience, I feel. Do we want to try phasing it with Superior? We might actually be able to go, like, get rid of it even with Dragon Tail, but probably not. I'm going to go for Knock Off, good Dragon Tail. No it knock Off won't, nearly knock off won't deal as much. Well, it will, but... Huh. That's why. Okay, fair. Hoping that he switches out. It's amazing how Poison went from, like, the type that you never see in, um, the night, like, one of the types you never see in OU, apart from, like, you know, Poison types that have something else going for them themselves, to actually a really common type. Hmm. Okay, we're in a pretty good position now, because, um, we've got... A good move to use here. Mm -hmm. Shinotic has both Strength Sap and Moonblast. So. Oh no. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Nope. I just say that. I mean, I personally wouldn't have gone for Leech Seed there, but... Yeah. Well, that was a close one, I will say. Mm-hmm. You nearly won there. Okay. The good news is I've got a Charizard. The bad news is it's only one Charizard. I've forgotten what good and bad news are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just, like, wait. Just, like, I forgot what good and bad news is. Like, we can handle Buzzwall, right? Maybe? Isn't it fighting type? Yeah. <laughs> Which is pretty bad for our team. Oh, boy. Bye, Valkorana. We've discovered an exciting new weakness here. Yeah. <laughs> Super buff lady mosquitoes. Ah, oh, as well. It's no pheromosa, but it's still pretty scary. So, fun fact about Buzzwall and um Fermo Fermonia? Fermosa. 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 
so mostly so like Buzzwall is mostly read as male and Fermosa is mostly read as female, like in terms of design. But only male cockroaches have those antennae, and only female mosquitoes have those um proboscis. Uh, huh. Ah, we are too bulky. See, back when they first revealed the Ultra Beast, and also the characters from Sun and Moon, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, they're not Pokemon. And Nail Ego looks, is drawn to resemble Lily, for reasons that are obvious once you learn about the plot. But the thing that I obviously assumed at the time was, oh, I guess they're secretly monsters. <laughs> because like there's that and Feromosa has like a non-zero resemblance to um thingy Lusamine. So this meant that I was convinced until I got to the relevant part of the game that Wick was secretly a buzzwall. <laughs> I love it. What did you think the um like the male scientist was? I didn't. I, I only knew of those three Ultra Beasts, so um, I did. I assumed he'd be something else that I hadn't met yet. <laughs> I guess if I had to pick one, probably Kartana. This match isn't going too well. No, it really isn't. I think our team is actually pretty bad. Mainly yeah, just because of the glaring weaknesses. Turns out that it may be less than the sum of its parts. Or, if we're honest, perhaps exactly the sum of its parts. And its parts needed half decent teams around them to make them work in the first place. Yeah. Do you want to try and see if we can, like, rework this team into some sort of functioning form? Um. I think the problem is just if we want to rework it into a functioning form. We need to change most of the members of the team because our problem is the number of concurrent weaknesses that we have. That's that's true, yeah. Um like I don't think this is a team that can be reworked just with the Pokemon in it. No, that's true. Yeah, we'll give this a shot, but... All we've got is Moonblast. So yeah, um, I'm afraid that our efforts to make a team didn't really work. In fact, this entire Dream series has ended up on a rather dull end. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fitting. Yeah. This is... You know, this was an experiment. I thought it'd be good with the audience, you know, getting to make the teams rather than just me choosing them. Um, I've enjoyed doing it. And I think a lot of the chat has enjoyed it. Have, I think Ben has enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I can agree. I have enjoyed it. I also think I've enjoyed it.
Yeah. But at least. Um, so I am coming up to a bit of a crunch point in my PhD. So this is probably, uh, the Sun and Sea streams will still happen, but this is probably going to be my last regular, um, like, weekday stream from now on. Because I think it would be, I think it would be good for me to kind of, like, stay a bit longer at work each day, you know, do a bit more stuff. Kind of get that down. So that's the plan for me. Um... I don't know if Ben's going to do any more streaming. I might be streaming some stuff in the near future. It depends on a few things, like if I could get co-hosts if I feel I need them. And also that I'm going to be, you know, away for a week and then I'm busy for a while. So my schedule is not super friendly to streaming in, but yeah, I'll do something at some point. So... I've enjoyed streaming with you. You're a good co-host. You bounce off each other. I knew we bounced off each other well because we've done a lot of tabletop gaming together and our role plays tend to be very silly. I mean, like, the this experience has basically been like, uh-huh, they rolled a one again, but... With Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> um... And I'm glad that viewers have enjoyed it as well. Yeah. I think, again, carrying on with the stream, I've got the audio, I've got like the audio tracks for some videos. So at some point, I'll work out how the video editing software really works and like put those together. So there might be some YouTube videos coming. But this is the last kind of evening stream, uh, regular evening stream series uh, in the weekend, uh, week, weekday evening stream series I'm going to be doing for a while. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all probably soon. Bye. Bleh, sorry, soon in the case of most people here, because, you know, you turn up a lot. Right. See you, everyone.